All right, welcome, Pisces. Let's do a reading. Let's see what Pisces can expect for the weekend. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. The last weekend in October. Can you guys believe it? All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces for the weekend. We got the kite, vacation. You also got the basket, recognition and reward for merit. You got the target, a goal-oriented ori <laughs> person. All right, so Pisces, you guys might... <laughs> You guys have been staying on task. Okay, setting goals, reaching your goals. <clears throat> you also have the month of January. Yup, dang, this is good. In the ear, good news. Give me one more, please. Oh, we got another month, really? Okay, August and January. So maybe there was some type of goal that you set in August. Uh, I know it's a little bit out, but January could be significant to reaching some type of goal. Um, seek out information that can help you. Great good fortune with the four leaf clover here as well. This looks really good. The tower, solid foundation and success with effort and family matters also showing itself. So keep going, Pisces. This looks good. I feel like spirit is recognizing you for the hard work that you've been putting in, staying on task. Okay, some of you guys may be planning a vacation or getting some type of good news about good news about something here. Okay. Keep getting choked out. So these cards are already shuffled. So let's get into this. Show tell me about vacation, please, for Pisces. Vacation. Vacation. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how we roll. So you guys could have went through something that was very difficult, very painful. That part, the hardest part of a situation is over. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh my. And there's healing. Some of you guys could be going on a vacation with someone. This could be a friend. Oh my goodness. All right, so you got Ten of Swords in the reverse, the Star card upright, the Two of Cups upright. What else for vacation? Yeah, some of you guys have been saving up money. Show me the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Some of you guys had to disconnect from somebody um, and that was very painful. Someone maybe that you loved or even a soulmate connection. You guys are getting justice for a situation, Pisces. I don't know what the hell vacation has to do with this, but with the star and the two of cups, this is you. Um... <sighs> Give me one on the two of cups. Okay, another way I can read this too as well. Some of you guys could be deciding to hold on to a connect. Hold on. What? I don't know. Some of you guys could be deciding to hold on to a connection here. A soulmate connection. Sorry if you guys can hear my daughter. I don't know what she's doing, but she's loud. Um, yeah, some type of wish here. My hands are cold. I'm sorry. Some type of wish is coming in because of all the work that you've been putting in. Um, some type of justice or balance is coming in after something, you know, that you may have went through. I don't know how long ago this was, but something here that was very painful for you, Pisces. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Yeah, you guys are saving up for something. You guys are investing into something, something that you've been... Um, planting seeds for some type of a long-term vision, your patience, your perseverance is going to pay off. Some of you guys could just be straight up planning some type of a trip. Someone else could be planning some type of trip. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some of you guys are just being conservative 
planting seeds, investing into some type of a long-term vision, putting in the work. This could even be healing work. Some of you guys may do healing work. Some of you, your soulmate could be healing as well and doing the work. Yeah, there's some type of new beginning here. Light at the end of the tunnel with the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the star coming out and justice upright. This is something coming in. Something's being balanced out because of what someone has been doing. The seeds that someone's been planting, someone's been pulling back their energy, being conservative. Thinking about the long term. Okay. Recognition and reward for merit. There's nothing else to say about that. The Hermit and the Knight of Cups. So there is some type of a proposal here. Virgo energy is out here. Um, the Hermit. So this is you seeking solitude. Doing some type of introspection. What's this Knight of Cups energy? The Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Five of Wands. What's the Five of Wands? The Moon. Pisces Cancer energy. There's something here about you staying consistent and persevering. This is like not engaging. I don't want to say if it's not engaging. Um, this is like fighting through the darkness of some so, something. So fighting through the darkness. This is like you... Spirit is recognizing you and rewarding you for something here, Pisces. Something that was challenging. Something here that, you know, this could be fighting your fears. This could be fighting your subconscious, fighting, you know, something here that was, I feel like dark, okay? Whether it was a person, place, or a thing, I feel like you've stayed consistent Hmm. I don't know what this is. Show me goal-oriented person. Page of Pentacles. So laying, there's something here that you're planning, laying some type of foundation for. What the hell is the Three of Swords out here? What's the Three of Swords? Yes, it's like some something here that broke like broke you down is actually thriving you. Something that broke you down is like thriving you. Strength in the sun, heavy Leo energy here. Go oriented person. This is you finding emotional fulfillment after, like, through some type of heartbreak. So it's almost like something here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles says, how can I stay grounded and focus and focus in pursuing my goals? The heart has been wounded, but know that pain will make you stronger. Yeah. There's, and then you got the strength card, the sun and the nine of cups. Like this is you like not losing sight of your goals through some type of adversities, through some type of darkness, through some type of challenge. This is you like really doing the inner work, the healing and finding inspiration 
and that's bringing in balance. So instead of this is good, this is like someone who, you know, isn't playing tit for tat or revenge seeking or letting something spiral them down the rabbit hole, even if something very well could have taken them down the rabbit hole. It's almost like someone here just like, I'm not saying that it didn't hurt, but I'm saying it's almost like someone's fighting the darkness, whether it's within them, around them, subconsciously. And it's bringing in rewards by you staying focused and not losing sight of like some type of a goal or or you persevered and that's bringing in the sun the happiness the sunshine the growth the expansion healing there's something here that you focused on and it has to do with a wish of yours or something that will fulfill you emotionally it's like just because this happened it's not going to break me it's not going to I'm still going to keep going for what it is that I'm going for. Tell me about January. Someone here could have been born in the month of January or August. Could be significant. We do have heavy Aquarius out here and Leo, so that would make sense. You also have Virgo out here, Pisces, Cancer, and Libra. This could be in someone's birth chart. But January is Aquarius. Capricorn, August is Leo, Virgo. So, should, well, why is January here? This is cold. I mean, this is cold. This is cool because it's like frigid and it's like the coldest month and the warmest month, at least here in the U.S., most places. January is the coldest month. Queen of Wands, January. There's a blessing here. Someone's spiritual gifts also could be enhancing. There's some type of divine timing, a change here, a change in the wind, a spiritual awakening, a new beginning, emotional emotional clarity, but it comes through somebody having the courage and the bravery to walk away from a situation. Somebody could have been also resisting this change. Tell me about the... I mean, this can also just be fear of the unknown as well. Fighting through the darkness. I don't know why I keep getting that. Fighting through the darkness. What is your darkness, Pisces? What is your shadow? Show me August. Actually, no. Show me death in the reverse. That's what I was doing. Death in the reverse. Two of wands. So whatever choice or decision that you were resisting... I feel like you made a choice to walk a pathway or you made a you made a good decision here to do what to surrender something in order to be fulfilled emotionally. It's like you're surrendering to something. You're seeing something from a sh shift in perspective, something that you were resisting. You made a decision to disconnect from emotionally, do the soul searching, walk away from something that could have been difficult when it came to your emotions, but you, the Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, and then you got the Hangman, Nine of Cups. It's like you made two, excuse me, Two of Wands, the Hangman, Nine of Cups. <clears throat> so whatever choice it is that you were resisting, you made the choice to, so some of you guys, this is deep. Some of you guys could have made a choice to walk a certain pathway. Like, this could have been something, say, like, I'm never doing this again. And then you could have done it again and again and again and again, whatever that may be, person, place, or thing. Okay. And then it's like you finally surrender to whatever. I feel like you made this decision a while ago, but you resisted making the changes for some time and that could have been delaying you delaying your own blessings 
but now it could have been delaying your blessings, but now I see your blessings coming in, whatever that may be, or something shifting or changing for you. You having a spiritual awakening, some type of enlightenment. What sacrifices are you willing to make for your higher purpose? Surrender, let go. New, per new perspective, okay? Tell me about August. Two of Swords. King of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Swords. You guys were avoiding, so some of you guys, whatever I was just talking about could have been in January or in the colder months, wherever you are. Maybe in August is when you made you made a difficult decision out of an emotionally balanced state of mind because you realized that you were giving to something. Did you realize you were giving to something? Maybe you realized that someone here had hidden agendas. Give me one more on that Two of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, so you've seen the truth. This was difficult for someone to do. Yeah, Four Cups. This was difficult for you to... To reject. Okay, I feel like you contemplated this after deep introspection. Realized that you were dissatisfied with something. That you were giving to a situation that... Uh, was causing deception or confusion. You were being overly generous. You were deceiving your damn self. Okay. The distractions are real right now. Okay. Show me good news. Eight of Wands. So that is good news. That is forward movement. Okay, that's something changing rapidly, something gaining momentum, picking up speed. The magician, you have manifested this. Ace of Swords, maybe even through your thoughts. Okay, there's some type of new idea, clarity, mental breakthrough here. Um, your skills could also be enhancing as well. Um, So me too could be tapped into source like wait good news what am i clarifying hmm why is the two of pentacles here i see you adapting multitasking having the talents the skills having what it takes to do whatever it is that you're trying to do to move you forward so this is like conforming to i don't know your morals your belief systems your conforming to your morals to your belief systems you taking action and being confident in whatever this is ace of cups and the five of them. Oh, okay so you leaving something out in the cold walking away from something is bringing this ace of cups is bringing a blessing towards you you're walking away from energies that sabotage whether damn oh, that's some heavy energy so you're walking away from Either jealous family. What is a Ten of Cups? Yeah, what is the Ten of Cups? You're surrendering to something here. Moon. There goes that hidden agenda. Some of you guys could have had like family. Hmm. 
Whatever it is that you're leaving out in the cold, it's like stress, anxiety, betrayal, loss, pain, conflict, people who try to win at all costs. But I feel like that's bringing in possibly a soulmate here because I keep seeing the Queen of Wands and I got the King of Wands. Could be a Sagittarius. I just did a Pisces and Sag and that reading was like pretty cool. Hmm. That's going to lead you to your emotional fulfillment. So for some of you guys, you could be receiving good news. This could be a new beginning in love. But it comes with you deciding to take action. Yeah, some of you guys are like... So some of you guys had to get someone out of your energy in order for something better to come in. Huh. Yeah, there you go. Five of Wands world. Just seen the Seven of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. Ju judgment. So this could be something in the world, like some type of a new cycle here, an awakening, a rebirth of something. Ten of Pentacles, good day. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, y'all. This is something that's long lasting. Some of Six of Cups. Okay, here we go. This could be some type of a past situation, a past life soulmate that's going to lead to some type of longevity. This is somebody coming in very patient and tempered. Okay, taking a, taking a leadership role. This could be someone who's very attractive or an entrepreneur of some sort. Very passionate, a visionary, a leader, a go-getter. And the Queen of Wands is also showing up out here. Let me see where she went. Whether you're feminine or masculine, okay? I feel like someone here had to surrender something, like fully surrender something that they were... Some of you, it was a person. Some of you guys, it was something else. I feel that energy. Yeah, there she goes. This Queen of Wands could have been manifesting this King of Wands here. <clears throat> and going through some type of like transformation. Wait, no, hold on a second. Some, some, something's coming in in divine timing, Pisces. This could be a blessing. This could be a new beginning in love. Someone here is going through an awakening at the right, like in divine timing. I don't want to say at the right time, but in divine timing. Someone here has had to get on their pathway, make a choice or a decision, surrender something, let go, or just even have like a new perspective about what truly emotionally fulfills somebody. I also feel like someone here needed to, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to say it. Someone here may have had to grow emotionally, and disconnect for a little bit from something or even forever. I don't fucking know, but disconnect from something in order to gain some type of emotional maturity and stop resisting some type of change. Somebody may have also had to go through like um, you know what this is giving? This is giving someone who had to go through like some type of trenches in order to, to kind of shift their perspective and truly what it is that you, what someone wanted. So say if like, oh, I want this, this is what I want. And spirit's like, no, motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker. 
and this is not for you and you're like but i want it and spirit's like no you don't and you're like yes i do and so then they hit you with the you know they something here had like ended very painfully and i feel like you had to learn a lot about how to even control your own energy, how to possess your own energy, how to not let others possess your energy. Like you are in possession of this. You create the narrative of your life, not somebody else. Okay. This is like somebody had to go through like a grow, like a, uh, was it an incubation? Possibly like an incub incubation. I don't know how to say that word, but, um, Someone had to grow, oh my God. Someone had to go through like an incubation period because there was some type of resistance to change or to see things from a different perspective. And now somebody here sees that what they were giving to, that they were feeding some type of manipulation or people or person or whatever with hidden agendas or someone here you were giving... Somebody here may have also been very gifted, but didn't understand their own damn gifts. Okay. With this six of pentacles in, in the upright high priestess in the reverse, someone here could have been very gifted, but didn't, was not using their damn intuition. Like they weren't using their gifts for good, or they weren't using their gifts to assist or aid themselves or others or any fucking thing. I don't know. Don't get shoot the messenger, but I feel like something here had to like... Someone here could have had to start over. Like, yeah, someone here had to battle the darkness. Spirit, like, gave something to somebody, I almost feel like, and then fucking ripped it away. In order to, to like, make somebody fight through their fears or fight through this illusion that they were in. Am I making sense? Anyways, that, whatever. Um, I feel like spirit is applauding you for your hard work. Okay, stay focused on your goals. I feel like you have been focused on your goals. This is one of those weird readings that, I don't know. Y'all let me know how it resonates with y'all. Let's get one card that can best suit this reading for Pisces. Oh. One card, please, that can best suit this reading for Pisces. You got two cards. I wonder if I should take them or not. You got family and enlightenment. Let's just see what comes out. I want one card, please, Spirit. Okay, so Secret Spring Success. Fuck, my wrist just started hurting. 34 could be significant. That could be someone's age, someone's birthday. 34, 36 could be also. All right, 34. All right, all things are possible. The more you honor and celebrate the success that you already have, the more success pours into your life. And the more you feel it, the more you love, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune you will have. Act as if and feel as if you are widely successful and even more success will develop. Acts, accept that you are already thriving. You are. The more victories will emerge. If the situation seems to knock you down, get up and take a moment to explore what you have learned and then keep going. In Celtic tradition, tradition, secret springs were magical. Water was a source of life and in their legends, mystical beings would emerge out of the springs and later return to them. Fairy queens and mythic heroes were said to have emerged from the spring and the sacred well springs were a place of commune with the divine. Good fortune blessed those who honored the spirit of the secret spring. 
The spirit of the secret spring says, success is flowing into your life. Vitality and a glowing youthful renewal of your body is occurring. And now is the time to take action in support of your dreams. There is no need to struggle. The universe has your back. So you guys could have been struggling with something that spirit was like, you don't need to struggle. I want to read this enlightenment card because I can't get the image out of my head. Or I just feel like I was called to read it and I put it back. Um, where are you? Oh, right there. Number 19. Someone's birthday can be on the 19th. Okay. Enlightenment. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now, your awareness is increasing and your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more, you can see situations from all points of views, and this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. Uh, this card also... This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world through only your personal point of consciousness. That's kind of what I was picking up. Like someone was like focused on something and it wasn't, it was like an illusion. Okay. Which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. A one-sided abdomen view of life can block the vast influx of light and joy in the connection up to the creator. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited points of view and to see the world from others' perspectives, and your life will expand. In temples throughout the world, initiates withdrew from their surroundings in order to gain and expand perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge during these times. Light is flooding into your life now. With enlightenment, you will feel the expansion from the limited sense of self to an awareness of the cosmos around you. Spirit of the Forest Temple says, Positive changes are coming. You're, you are lightening up. Feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who you are and what you deserve are falling away, replaced with incredible new paths. That's what I see here. Anyways, I feel like I talked about it already. I'm not going to talk about it again. I'm going to leave this reading here. You guys let me know how this reading resonates with you guys. If you guys want a personal reading, information is down below. Always. And with that being said, I love you guys and keep up the good work. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.